eyes hurt. Why is it so bright in here? Dude, I got some, I got some new lights. My eyes aren't adapting to very well to it. Did you just wake up? Yeah, isn't it like seven o'clock? All right, so we're still working on these cabinets. Yeah. But today we're going to build the drawers or attempt to. So essentially we're gonna be making these drawers with locking rabbit joints. I asked Jamie what he would do and he said that a rabbit joint would be simple and sturdy enough, but I ended up taking it a step further by locking them. A locking rabbit joint has a tongue on one piece and a groove on the other to receive the tongue so that they lock together. Since these drawers are going to have a fake face on the front of them, I'm making sure to put the grooved cut on the side pieces so that the ends of the plywood are all hidden. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, well, we've got 18 drawers to make, so... I'm sorry, come eight, again. <laughs> come eight, again? 18 drawers. Oh my gosh, dude. We got this. Man, what time is it? Dude. I gotta pick up the kids from school. It's only nine. <laughs> <laughs> After convincing Jason to stay yet again, the very first step was to get the actual measurements of the drawers. All right, so we got our measurements here. Jason wrote them all down. Dude, um, you know what I don't understand? What? Is how a grown man of my age can have such crappy handwriting. Like, uh, I don't understand. It is terrible. Like, I write like a two-year-old. Yeah, well, I'm gonna let it? you interpret all of this. 15 and a quarter. Oh, 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 hey! hey. <laughs> hey. Scared the crap out of me. 15 and a quarter by five and one half. Okay. That's all the first four, same size. So what we're going to do is we're going to just stick to one cabinet right now because uh, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. We don't want to waste all of our material. Exactly. The so day. Uh, I took the measurements somewhat tight, uh, but we're going to take a little bit off of each one because one... We have drawer slides that we got to account for. So those are an inch together. Okay. So we'll have to take an inch off. As far as the width goes, we want that to be tight. But as far as the height goes, we don't need that to be tight. After figuring out all the math, it was ready to start cutting these drawer sides and fronts down to the proper length and width. And a friendly reminder, be careful when using a table saw because sometimes the cutoffs can be slung behind you. Yo, bro, good distance. Yeah, dude, that thing slung that thing all the way underneath my truck. It's like a javelin coming flying out of there. Good thing we weren't standing behind that thing. Dude, you can't hurt steel, bro. It's just gonna break when it hits this. We don't have dado blades, and uh, we want to put these rabbit cuts in here. But we do have dado blades. Yeah. So <laughs> we just ended up buying two uh, saw blades this morning and putting them them together. Now that's not gonna make a quarter inch. No. Because as you can see, the blades kind of overlap each other by a sixteenth on the inside. Mm -hmm. And if you're gonna do this, make sure that you put the teeth offset from each other. This is our setup. I think it's a thing, uh, so we did it. It's a Ray J thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll hear comments about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's time to start cutting some of these rabbit joints. As you can see here, I do have a piece of wood attached to the fence to protect my fence from being cut as I was cutting some of these grooves. And of course, we also tested them to make sure that they actually fit together once we got both grooves cut. So, we ran into our first kind of problem here. When we went to uh, test a piece and put it together, they wouldn't quite go together. And we found out that the reason why is, I don't know if you can see this, but... There's a little nub right there. And that is because the saw blades over here are at... Our, our dado blade. Yeah, they're at just a smidge different height. So we're gonna have to recut those. Hey, that's why we didn't rip all of our material down yeah. to begin with. So we reset the saw blade to cut a little bit deeper and now they fit together just fine. We have it all together. It's not nailed or anything. We're actually measuring to figure out what our bottom piece is gonna be, but fit together pretty well. Yeah, I mean, this is gonna be nice, man. It's gonna be nice and sturdy, dominoed, or whatever you call that thing. That's not dominoes. <laughs> whatever, dude. Glued shot, it's gonna be nice. So I did make a mistake and uh, cut this groove here in 
on the front and back on the wrong side. Well, that's for aerodynamics. Aerodynamics, yeah, yeah, yeah. It helps it slide in and out. It helps the airflow come through the back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. But it don't really matter. You're never going to see that. They wouldn't have known if you wouldn't have seen anything. They oh, would have so definitely seen that. <laughs> so we got the measurement for the bottom panels and then began to cut them. But of course, once we started to put them in, we ran into some more trouble. Problem number two. The grooves that we cut for this uh, quarter inch uh, plywood here, that's gonna be the bottom, are 3 16 remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're actually gonna have to move the blade over a little bit and recut all these. So we're figuring it out. Yeah, that's why we're doing them a couple at a time. I know you guys are probably wondering, why do we keep making all these mistakes? Well, let me tell you a little secret about how our projects actually go. One of us comes up with an idea, tells the other one, and then we just wing it. Now that we got that situated, uh, we're ready to officially put our first drawer together. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, it'll be fun. We just glue and sheared it. So here we go. We're gonna put our first drawer together and we're gonna make sure that we glue and shoot everything. Yo, are you holding that 90 degrees? Yeah, man. Everybody, every, every time I blow one out, everybody's like, hold the gun 90 degrees. <laughs> we know that. Let's not all act like we've never blown out an L. Seriously. I mean, it even happens. Jamie, it even happens to Jamie. Exactly. And he's the man. Okay, let me see. That's what looks about 87 degrees there. That's not quite 90. Break Just out the hold levels, that and then squares, lay that on everything. Perfect. We got a drawer made and we're gonna test fit it. Yeah. See if it actually goes in there. It goes. Nice, we got some space on each side for our slides. Sweet, all right, so we only just got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Only 17 more. Yeah. Now it only took us three hours, so yeah. uh, let's see, it's 20, that's, we'll be done by next Thursday. Before we moved on to processing all the rest of the wood for all the other drawers, we went ahead and built the three that we made already so that that set was complete. Four down, 14 to go. So we're gonna go ahead and get, get those busted out, right? Bust them out. Yeah, we're gonna mass produce, baby. I'm excited, those things are banging. Yeah, they are pretty sweet. Okay, now that we felt that we somewhat knew what we were doing, it was time to bang out the rest of these drawers. Now, out of the 14 drawers, I need four different sizes. Coda, your mama is not gonna be happy with you. You got footprints all over her drawer material. Good thing I made you a nice doghouse for you to sleep in tonight. And luckily I had Jason here to help because this ended up being a lot of cutting. I needed 56 pieces just for the fronts and the sides for all 14 of these drawers. And as you can see, we were cutting and cutting and cutting. Um, so you know when you do that voiceover thing, like when we're doing time lapses, you always talk? Yeah. I wanna make sure that you emphasize that I was out of frame a lot there, but I oh, was. Oh yeah, I was. I'm, I was, I was already cutting. thinking. I was already thinking <laughs> that I was gonna say that you were already over there. Right, okay. Make sure that people don't think I'm over there like having a soda <laughs> or something like that. They want to make sure I know that I'm doing work. You know, I I will I, I will be sure you're is, recognized. Sure, thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Well, this is it for now. Well, um, I mean, we got a lot done. Yeah. Got a lot done. We got all our pieces cut down to size. Yep. Next step will be cutting the uh, rabbits. Rabbit dominoes. So I'm gonna take a break, probably a nap. <laughs> what are you gonna go do? I'm gonna probably grab my eat and go pick up my kids and then go home and do yard work. Mm. And then go to a baseball tournament all weekend. Fun. Yeah, I'd rather be here building cabinets. <laughs> All right, so I took a little break, but now it's time to hop back into finishing these drawers. I have a lot of cutting to do. I need to cut the notches and the grooves and all that stuff for the locking rabbit, so that's gonna be fun. So it was back to cutting, cutting, and cutting. It was about this time that I really started to miss Jason and also realizing that making your own cabinets is a lot of work. All of my cuts are made for now. I have some bottom panels, but the thing is, is that I know I'm gonna run out of plywood. I think I have enough half inch. Um, I still have this sheet over here, but I don't have enough 
quarter inch. So we're gonna do what we can do right now, see whatever it is that we need. We might make a trip to Lowe's, but I'm back. I had to go and get a couple more sheets of this quarter inch plywood over here at Lowe's, which took about an hour and a half because Lowe's is about a little bit over 30 minutes away, but whatever, I had to do it. So now we can get back to actually making these drawers. So I finished making all the bottom panels and then spent the rest of the day putting all the drawers together. After that, I decided to take a little time off. And when I say time off, I mean like a month and a half. I needed to take some time off to clear my head and get my thoughts all together. I needed not to be in such a rush to get this project done by Thanksgiving and as most of you probably guessed, it did not get done. But that's alright, it wasn't a big deal, Becca was totally okay with it. She wanted me to do what I needed to do. And I hope all of you guys have somebody that cares about you that much. Bro, you gotta hurry up and get in here, man. We got the heat going. Alright, so now we're ready to hopefully start installing some of these drawers. I've got these drawer slides here. They are soft clothes. I got these from Lowe's. I keep buying them out and uh, they keep running out. So I'm still missing like two more, but we'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there, just a couple more trips Baby. to Lowe's. Because I have face frames, uh, I had to make this material here to pack it out, because these are uh, side mount drawers and not under mount, which is fine. So they are a half inch thick. So we made sure to make our drawers an inch less. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yep, that's right. An inch less than uh, what the opening here is. And we're gonna just go ahead and put one of these here. And another one over here. And put, attach the, uh, the drawer slide to the side of that. And Jason's gonna attach the drawer slide to the side of the drawer. And uh, we're just gonna try one and see how it works. Installing the drawer slides proved to be another task, but after we did the first one, we figured we knew what we were doing. So pretty much all we did was Jason took his bracket that he was attaching to the drawers and he put them dead center. And then I was putting my brackets that I was attaching to the actual cabinets and I put them dead center in each opening. Okay, so we were able to do as many as we could, uh, seeing how we only had this many drawer slides but uh look like drawers to me bub yeah you can't complain about that at all no man they look awesome i mean some of them may need a little bit of tweaking but i think overall they're pretty good yeah i did have one question though. yeah um what do we have <laughs> so many leftover screws it's just i mean so that we can we can use them later on something drywall well, we do know that we still got to go back and put one here because... Yeah, because somebody forgot. Who was doing that? I don't know. Let me get that for you. I'll fix it for you. 